Hi everyone, it's Debbie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a reseller. I've been reselling for 17 years. I sell mainly on eBay, Poshmark, a little bit on Macari, and a little bit on Facebook Marketplace. And today I have a what sold video for you. I'm going to share some items that sold the week of May 1st through 7th, 2022. I sold a total of 36 items for a gross amount of $716.68. And as always, if you want the complete breakdown of all of my numbers, I will have that at the end. Before we get started, I wanted to tell Laura, thank you so much for buying a coffee for me. That means so much to me and I just appreciate your continued support. Laura is one of those people that has been there since almost the beginning of moving on YouTube and always just so kind and supportive and I have really enjoyed getting to know you, Laura, and you are just a wonderful person. So thank you again, Laura, for the coffee and just for all of the support that you have shown me. I really, really appreciate it. So now we will get started. I sold the most on eBay. I sold 18 items for a gross amount of $441.63. The first item I actually wore in a what sold video, this was the Sundance full zip hooded sweatshirt hoodie jacket, small dark pink. And whenever it is a full zip jacket with a hood, I like to put keywords hooded and the word hoodie so that it will catch people if they search by either one. If it's full zip, I like to put that. And I also like to put the word jacket. It sold for $31.03. My earnings were $21.48. I paid just 98 cents at the Oklahoma City Goodwill Outlet Center, otherwise known as the Fins. It took three months and one day to sell, and my profit was $20.50. The next two items came from Thread Up Rescue Boxes, and I have not purchased one for a little while. So the items that are selling now are the ones that are slower to sell and they don't make as much money, but they still contribute to getting money back on those boxes. The first one was the Antonio Milani Heels Shoes Square Toe Black Heel Patent Leather Size 8.5. They sold for $27.64. My earnings were $13.30. I paid just $5.62 in my sixth Thread Up Rescue Box. They took four months and five days to sell, and my profit was $7.68. I really like the Thread Up Rescue Boxes because they're fun. I don't have to go out and source them, so there's very little time invested. And even on one of these that did not sell for as much and took longer, I still over doubled my money. The next one was the Montego Bay Club Black Silver Gray Wedges Sandal Shoe Thong. I put all three of those keywords to try to put as many keywords as possible. Size eight. They sold for $21.90. My earnings were $13.23. I paid again $5.62 because this one came from that same Thread Up Rescue Box. This pair took four months and six days to sell and my profit was $7.61. The next one was a brand that I have all the time from liquidation, but I rarely ever find it at the thrift store. So I was so excited when I found this at the Goodwill bins. It is the Free People Boho Lace Shirt Blouse Small. I put keywords sheer, embroidered, crochet, and back zipper. It did not have a size tag, so I estimated that was a size small, provided measurements, and also so that it fit perfectly on my size six mannequin. It sold for $26.48. My earnings were $17.03. I paid just 40 cents at the Goodwill bins in Oklahoma City, and it took just 16 days to sell. My profit was $16.63. The next item was an item that I was just shopping with my daughter at the mall, and I normally check the clearance racks in just about any store that I go into and they had shorts marked down. I had talked about this a little while ago. So I bought a lot of them and it was multiple quantities. So even if I don't make a lot per item, having those multiple quantities and only having to create one listing and just put more than one of a quantity is key. So this was the new with tags, $45 pack sun shorts, 26 inches, ultra high rise, vintage shorts, button fly denim. They sold for $28. My earnings were $18.31. I paid just $4.99 and I used my reseller certificate and I didn't have to pay tax. I just purchased it at PacSun in the mall on the clearance rack and it took 
two months, four days to sell, and my profit was $13.32. I sold this right when I was going out of town to my son's wrestling tournament in Cushing, Oklahoma. So I wasn't going to be back, and it was Saturday morning, and I really wanted to ship it out, but I already had my laptop shut down and everything. So I just grabbed my shorts. Okay, let's see if we can do this one-handed with the phone. <laughs> container 182 and it was packed in so I'm looking for some denim shorts ultra high rise vintage short I'm pretty sure that was it yes okay so this is awesome I downloaded the QR code I screen recorded it so I can show you I can put it in my cute little Polly Miller. I have my little Love 2 Shop 242 sticker that I'll put on the outside. And we will run to the post office and see how it works to drop that off. And I took it to the post office and I tried it using the QR code without printing anything out. And I thought this would be a good thing to show in case your printer doesn't work or you don't have a printer and you're starting out. It was so easy. All I did was I generated the QR code, then I did a screenshot of it in case I couldn't pull it up when I went to the post office. To generate a QR code, you will just click on the item that you would like to ship, then click Click on Get Shipping Label. There will be an area toward the bottom where you can add additional options if you would like to do so. Then you will go up to the top and click on Purchase. You still get your eBay discount even if you have the QR code printed. Next, it will tell you that how much you will be charged and if it looks good, you will click on Continue and it will generate a QR code which they will send to your email. I went to my email and the QR code was there. I took a screenshot of it just in case it wouldn't pull up when I got to the post office. We arrived in Cushing, Oklahoma and when Jason had a break, we went to the post office I went in, handed the package to her. I held up my phone with the photo of the QR label. She scanned it, it printed out a label for her. She put it on my package and mailed it. This is what the label looks like. It looks just as if I would print it at home. The lady said that I wasn't allowed to video in USPS, but I was able to take a picture. So this is what it looks like. So if ever your printer doesn't work or you run out of shipping labels or you don't have a printer, it is very easy. The next item was another item that I wore in a haul. I often wear things that I find at Goodwill and then I sell them. This, I, it's just a t-shirt, but I got it at the Goodwill bins and I like it. This was the Chelsea 28 floral printed dress, size extra small. I put belted and I also put Chelsea 28 with a space between Chelsea and 28 in case someone searched differently. It sold for $18. I accidentally put free shipping on it. I don't know how I did that. I did not mean to put free shipping on it. And I had free returns also, and the person got it and said it was a nice dress, but the color was just a little off for her, and so she wanted to return it. And I thought, oh, oh no, usually I offer free returns, but I charge shipping because if someone is going to lose out on their original shipping, often I think that will keep them from returning it. But when it's no cost to them, sometimes they will just return it just because, oh, they don't exactly like it. So that one is coming back to me. So I paid about $1 at the Goodwill bins. I had this listed for seven months. I'm going to end up going negative $11.32 on this dress by the time I get it back since I had to pay shipping both ways. So lesson for me, be sure that I don't accidentally mark free shipping unless it is an item that I think it's so important to because of the competitiveness of it. So I'm a little bit bummed about that one, but that's okay, it's just a part of doing business. Then I sold four this week of the Count Me In Trapeze Boho Tunic Top Shirt. I sold three in size medium and one in size small. And if you watched my return video, 
I showed a lot of things that were coming back and this was one of them. It wasn't one of these four, but it was another one. So that's no big deal. They paid the shipping one way. I paid the shipping back and it will sell again. These each sold for around $29.40 average. My earnings were an average of $18.14. I paid approximately $8.50 on each one of them. I bought them in different lots. So some of them were higher, some of them were lower, but all of them were around $8.50. So my profit on each one was about $9.64. And again, multiple quantities, which I love. And these have trickled out. I probably, if I would guess, I'd have to look it up. I bet I've had about 70 or 80 of these total. And they are getting close to selling out after about a year and a half. I might have 10 or so left. The next one, I sold a couple swimsuits. Those are selling for my great swimsuit deal. One was the new Island Escape Tankini Swimsuit Swim Top. This was the Waikiki Paradise size eight. And I also put that it had an underwear bra in it. It sold for $24.85. My earnings were $15.64. I paid just $1 on my great swimsuit deal. It took one month and two days to sell and my profit was $14.64. So Island Escape, I sell over and over and over. I really like selling tankinis by this brand. Next one was the new with tag $74 retail value, Kenneth Cole Reaction Ready to Ruffle Tankini. I also put push-up swim top size medium. It sold for $27.35. My earnings were $17.65. I paid just $1 on my great swimsuit deal and my profit was $16.65. And the great thing was I had two of these that were identical. So all I did was put quantity two and they have both sold now. So that was really quick and easy and nice that they both sold right away. I forgot to write down the days to sell, so I will pop it up right here how many days it took to sell. The next one was the Michael Kors Pants Medium Soft Knit Pull-On Leggings Pockets Stretch Size Medium, and I put ankle because they were an ankle length. I had kind of steered away from Michael Kors clothing for a little while because I felt like it just wasn't selling. Then I started picking it up again and just realized it does sell, just not as high as it used to. So now I will pick it up at the bins. That's great. I'm not going to pay $8, $9 at the regular Goodwill, but I will pick it up at the bins for sure. This pair of pants sold for $22.52. My earnings were $14.21. I paid just 77 cents at the Goodwill bins. It took just under two months to sell and my profit was $13.44. Then on Poshmark, I sold 14 items for $223. And when I was looking to pick out which items to share, I realized that I have shared every item that I sold on Poshmark. All of these were duplicate items. So I'm just going to pop up everything that I sold on Poshmark. So you can just see everything that I sold. There were seven Free People Intimate Bras. There were three Free People Dresses, three swim tops, and one pair of PacSun shorts. Then on Macari, I sold two items for $52.05. One of the items was a swimsuit brand that I really like. This was the new with tag swimsuits for all black one piece swimsuit plus size 18. It had the tag that said swimsuits for all, but it did not have the price tag. I still listed it as new with tags. And then in the listing, I just said, this is brand new with tags. It has the swimsuit for all tag, but it does not have the price tag. And so I still list things new with tags, as long as they have some kind of tag on them that shows that they are brand new. It sold for $29.18. My earnings were $19.73. I paid just $1 on my great swimsuit deal and my profit was $18.73. I had this listed on Poshmark for about nine months. It got lots of attention, lots of likes, but it just didn't sell. Finally, I cross-listed it to Macari and it sold in a month and a half. So I was very glad that I cross-listed it to Macari. Now to look at my numbers, I sold 36 items for a gross amount of $716.68. Money back in the bank after any postage or fees was $493.94. My cost of goods was $131.34 and my profit was $362.60. On eBay, I sold 18 items for $441.63. After fees and postage, I received back $287.19. 
My cost of goods was $70.10 and my profit was $217.09. On Poshmark, just 14 items. I'm hoping that it will get a lot better. My gross sales were $223. After fees, I received back $171.64. My cost of goods was $59.24, and my profit was $112.40. On Macari, I sold two items for $52.05. After fees and postage, I received back $35.11. My cost of goods was $2 and my profit was $33.11. If we look at where my items came from, out of the 36 items, 18 came from liquidation, 10 were retail arbitrage, and six were thrifted. This just felt like kind of an average kind of week. Not a lot was really exciting. There weren't any just super exciting sales, but that's how it is sometimes in reselling. And I am grateful for all the sales, big and small. So that is everything that I have for you today. If you're still here and wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I would appreciate it so much. And if you're not subscribed and would like to join me again, I would love to have you back. Just hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell if you would like to know when I release new videos. Thank you so much for watching and everybody have a great day. Bye.